Jake, first of all, just you know, you've you've played for Luis Rojas in the past. You obviously were were on the team when he was on the staff last year. What type of a manager has he been, and do you expect him to be at the big league level? Yeah, he was uh, he was great when I had him in Low A, um, and last year as well. Um, easy to talk to. Um, definitely cares about uh, your well being as far as a player and team and. Uh, wants the best for you, so that's definitely a plus. And um, you know, I, I've enjoyed my time around him. Even when he got the job um, this year, um, had multiple phone calls with him um, and enjoyed talking to him. And then here so far has been great. So uh, we're definitely excited to have him. When you've reached the level that you've reached now, back-to-back -back Cy Youngs, what do you push yourself to try and improve? Is there anything that you you say, okay? I know I was the best in the game the last two years, but I still want to be better in this particular area. Yeah, I think you're d always trying to improve. Um, I've said that from when I first came up, try to learn whatever I can from whoever I'm around. Um, and, you know, having Hefner this year, uh, new eyes to see something that maybe I can do better. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a game of adjustment, so anytime you can make an adjustment to make yourself better and have somebody uh, help you with that, I, I try to take from that. Jake, Jake there's, uh, there's only been a, a couple of guys, I think it's only two guys who won three straight side number awards. Has anybody brought that to your attention yet? Is that kind of now dangling there as they uh, care a little bit? Um, definitely. Um, you know, anytime you're at your best personally, you're going to help the team. Um, so you set personal goals and I, you know, I've said that the past couple of years and that's definitely another personal goal of mine, but, uh, most importantly, a team game and, um, want to win a world series. Um, but anytime you're at your best, you help the team. How much more have you maybe become aware of that history of, of Cy Young and guys who have achieved some of the things that you're starting to achieve. How much more in just in the past couple of years have you personally learned about it and, and become aware of it? Yeah, I'm definitely more aware. Um, you know, the names on the list that um, those lists are impressive names. And, you know, having Pedro hand me the Cy Young this year was really cool. Um, you know, and you do become more aware. Um, you know, I think, I don't know if you asked me before, but you're always trying to get ready for the next season. So kind of reflecting on what you've done for me is kind of a weird thing because always trying to prepare for the next season. Um, but definitely more aware of kind of what's going on. I know you obviously weren't a pitcher until late in college, mm -hmm. but as you grew up a baseball fan, began your pro career, got to the majors, would you, would you look back on baseball history as research some of that stuff just as a, as a baseball nerd who was interested? Or is that only piquing your interest a little more now that you're sort of becoming part of it? Um, I think I just, I played so much. I didn't, as a kid, like I didn't watch a whole lot of baseball. I was constantly doing stuff, playing outside or playing baseball, playing sports. Um, definitely become more aware of it now. Um, uh, more interested now. Um, you know, I thought I'd be a position player, <laughs> and that didn't work out. So, um, definitely more aware of you know pitching history. I was more in like when I, like I said when I was growing up, I was more in. Uh, I enjoyed watching position players more than pitchers. Mike, Jake, do you uh, do you think you were tipping your pitches early last year, and and do you think that had any effect uh, early on? So, you know, you get up to that. Kind of rough start by your standards. Um, I do not think I was tipping my pitches. Um, I actually asked Jeremy that. Okay. Uh, that was the first team to score quite a few runs off me. That and that was the first one to start that three game stretch. And he said they had nothing on me. And I, I said I didn't think they did because when I looked at the video, everything looked the same to me. Um, my misses were just over the middle of the plate. Um, and as far as how I pitch now, um, I feel like when guys face me, they, they want to jump on something early and early misses down the middle of the plate is what they were hitting. Um, you know, they weren't well-executed pitches, so I think that's all it was. So it was, it was kind of 
kind of all on what you were doing wasn't anything you know, as far as signs or tipping or anything. I don't think it was. Okay. I think it was looking at the yeah, looking at what was hit, it was I was throwing the ball right down the middle. Okay. Justin. Jake, these think opponents have seen the best version of you. There's still like a level that you're trying to reach even though you've run two straight high youngs? Um that's a tough question. Like I said, you're always trying to get better. Um I would like to think there's, you know, better to come, but who knows? You got to go out there and play. Um, baseball is an interesting game, uh, so constantly trying to improve. I feel really good coming into this spring, and um, you know, I'm looking forward to starting the season. When did it set in that this off season that you won back to back Cy Youngs? Um, I don't even know. Maybe probably at the banquet. You know, they announce it. That's exciting. You're you're getting ready for the for the this spring and this season coming up and then you go up to the banquet and you're around the the other award winners i think that's kind of when it set in you, you talked last year about maybe in april feeling some pressure of trying to live up to mm -hmm. what you had done the, the previous season does that does that dynamic change now that you've kind of lived through being the defending Cy Young winner once yeah i think a little bit um you know i like i said uh, it was i said that early on last year that was going to be a struggle trying not to trying to do too much and you know I think I did that a little bit you know Mike asking about those three starts and I think um, that was something I was doing I was trying to be too perfect and then um, I was getting frustrated and kind of let things spiral on me versus taking it one pitch at a time and, and going from there so I think going through that definitely um, will help this year. Marley. Jacob. Obviously, the topic of the offseason has been the yeah. Astros uh, science stealing scandal. As a pitcher, how do you feel about that? Honestly, I haven't thought too much about it. Um, you know, you see what comes out. Um, like I said, I, I goes back to kind of how I pitch. I try to pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, try to get ready for the season. Haven't paid too much attention to what all's going on. You mentioned um, getting the award from Pedro. Have you had any other interactions with him? Whether it was, I'm sorry, not just with him, but whether it was with him in private moments that night or with other guys who are kind of pitching legends of the game as, as you've grown your stature? It was funny because, you know, when I saw him, I actually thanked him uh, because at the All-Star game, he said a couple things to me. Uh, he noticed that I was getting more frustrated on the mound than I have in previous years. And he said, hey, calm down out there, just have fun. And, you know, I think that helped. And I, I laughed when I saw him and found out that he was giving me the, the award. And I thanked him for that because I do feel like it helped. And that was something, like I said, I was, I was getting frustrated, um, not taking it one pitch at a time. Uh, so that was, I've had a few interactions with him. Um, you know, I've said, I've talked to John Smoltz before guys like that. Like I said, I try to learn from whoever I can, um, and take little things from them. And, and if it can help me improve, then uh, it's a plus. Have, have those interactions changed at all, whether it's with Pedro or Smith or anything, just in terms of uh, maybe from your perspective, seeing them more as peers, or are they still kind of up here to you in your mind? Still up there in my mind. Um, that's, you know, I think it's just like a, a respect for the game and the guys who kind of, you know, paved the way for us and played before us and, and were really good. So it's still, you know, kind of look at them up there. To that end, even though they're still up there in your mind. Have any of them said, hey, nice to meet you, like, I'm so happy to meet you? Um, no, I don't think, not that I can recall. <laughs> I think I say, I'd probably say nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a common interaction. You know, I think <laughs> first time we met, I might have said nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, this time last year, you were asked a lot about not only defending your Cy Young, but also the contract extension. This year, you've lived through the Cy Young defense, mm -hmm. you have the contract. Is this a more low-key, boring maybe spring? A good boring? Um, I would say there's not as many distractions. <laughs> um, you know, just able to get ready. But I think I did a decent job of that last year, getting ready for the season. Um, you know, having some, a few years of experience, knowing what I need to do to get ready definitely helps as well, which I think that helped me get through last year with all the questions and stuff as far as the contract. and. Um, Cy Young stuff, so I have a pretty good idea of how I want to get ready and what I need to do, so kind of stick to that program. Did, did you th throw through the whole offseason like you did in the past? Yeah, I threw a lot. Yeah. 
um, take a couple weeks off, start moving around, throwing a little bit, and um, you know, add on from there. A couple more, Marla. Jacob, what is it like to now share the clubhouse with Rick Purcell and Michael Walker? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a, a very cool thing. Um, I've actually talked to Walker quite a bit throughout the years. I got to know him pretty well. Um, first time meeting Rick. Um, great guys. Um, you know, and anytime you have depth, it's a plus. Uh, it's, I don't even know if the team's ever made it through a season with only five starters. So anytime you have a guy to step in and uh, with the six guys we're running out there, they could easily be one, twos, or threes on any team. So definitely a plus to have those guys. What are your expectations for this season? And are they maybe a little higher than recent spring trainings regarding roster composition? Yeah, um, you know, I feel like ever since we made it to the World Series in 2015, we've had high expectations that we haven't lived up to. Um, and I'm definitely excited this year as well. Um, I think we have a great group of guys. Um, I think our lineup's really good, really good starting pitching, and the bullpen um, looks uh, really good as well. So um, definitely excited to start the year, and I think the you know the expectations are the same as they have been, and the, everybody's pulling in the same direction and wants to win a World Series. So that's the goal. Two more, Tim. What are your early impressions of Jeremy Hefner been so far? Uh, he's been great. Um, I've talked to him. Uh, or I talked to him quite a bit this off season, um, and then you know coming into camp, uh, I came down a couple times last week and through, and um, he has a really he has a really good knowledge of the game. Um, you know he he uh, I'm really satisfied with how it's been so far, and I think he's going to bring um, really good things to our attention and uh, help us out a lot. That's one, Steve. Jake, you talked about the expectations always being high for this this group. Uh, you know, you obviously experienced going to the World Series in 2015. Looked like there'd be a run of success. You've now gotten to the point where you've had the highest of high individual success. At, at this point, how strong is the itch now from you to to try and get back there, to want to get back there? Yeah, that's that's the ultimate goal. That's why we <laughs> play this game. Um, it's a team game. Like I said, personal achievements are great, but um, it's a team game and you want everybody to uh, succeed and you want to all get there together. And um, looking around that room, everybody feels that same way. And, um, you know, like I said, that's the main goal and that's what we're trying to do here. And I think uh, we're off to a good start and um, excited to have everybody who we have in place and, and looking forward to getting spring started and the season. Thank you, Jacob. Thanks, guys. Thank you.